My name is Namuya Deborah, pursuing an advanced certificate in heavy equipment repair. We are going to look at the hydraulic cylinder test bench. But first of all, we'll look at the components involved. Here we have the reservoir. We have the pump, which is driven by an electric motor. We have the suction line and the retain line. Here we have the di directional control valve. We have the control lever here. We have the actuator and the extension gauge and the retraction gauge. So when work is not being done, the hydraulic fluid, which is pumped from the reservoir to the direction valve, control valve, will go back to the tank through this port, which is marked with letter T. We can just trace the line. So it will go back to the reservoir through this, this retain line. Okay, so now we want to do work. Let's assume this actuator is connected to a boom or a bucket and we want to do work. If I pull this lever towards me, I will open this port, which is marked with letter A, for this chamber, which is the extension chamber. So if I pull this lever, hydraulic fluid will be directed to this chamber, hence pushing out the piston rod, and then work is being done. Afterwards, retraction follows. For retraction to take place, I will pu I'll push this lever towards, the towards this port with letter B, which is for this ch chamber, for the retraction chamber. So I will just demonstrate on the machine. So it's on and the hydraulic fluid is being pumped from the reservoir to the directional control valve, which is driven by an electric motor. Now, when work is not being done, the fluid from the directional control valve will go back to the reservoir through this port, which is for the tank, to the reservoir. Now let's do some work. Let's say this actuator is connected to a boom and we want to raise the boom. I will now pull the control lever. As you can see, the piston rod is being pushed outwards. Work is being done, which is being supplied to this, this side. As the piston rods reaches its maximum extension, pressure rises up. Then we will have to do retraction. As you can see, when the piston reaches its maximum of retraction, the pressure will also build up. Now, when servicing this cylinder, hydraulic fluid falls into this, the reservoir which is here and later on picked up by the scavenging pump back to the reservoir through this line.